This problem says uh, you add 0.255 grams of an orange crystalline compound whose empirical formula is C10H8FE to 11.2 gram, grams of benzene. And then the boiling point of the benzene rises from this to that. What are the molar mass and the molecular formula of the compound? Okay, so we want to find the molar mass, and then from that and the empirical formula, we can find the molecular formula. Okay, and we add a certain amount of this compound to benzene to get the temperature uh, increase of the boiling point. All right, so we're going to, uh, here's the information that we um, are given. And this is the equation that we're going to use. The change in the boiling point is equal to the boiling point constant times the molality of the solution. Okay. Now the boiling point constant is unique for every solvent. So since uh, our solvent is benzene, we need to know the boiling point constant for benzene. Well, it turns out that uh, there's a table in our book that has the, uh, the boiling point and the boiling point constant for benzene. Okay, so 2.53 degrees C per molal, positive sign because it is increasing. Okay, so, um, so the KBP is 2.53 three degrees C per molar. All right, so um, we have the constant and here is our change in temperature which is going to be 0 0.16 degrees, okay? And so we can divide to find uh, the molality, but remember, what are we looking for? We're looking to find the molar mass, which is the grams of, I'm just calling it the unknown, over uh, the moles of the unknown. All right, but molality, okay, um, that's going to give me the moles of the unknown per kilogram of my solvent, which is benzene. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do here is I can find the moles of the unknown, right, because I know how much solvent I have, so I can cancel that benzene out from the bottom, find the moles of the unknown, and, um, and then I have the mass of the unknown, divided by the moles of the unknown, and that will give me the molar mass, which I will then use uh, to compare with this to find out uh, what the molecular formula is. All right, so let's uh, work this problem through. We have uh, the change in temperature divided by the... Um, Uh, freezing point, or rather the uh, molal boiling point constant, uh, 2.53 degrees C per molal, okay, and um, this will give me the molality, okay, so I will have um, 0.16 divided by 2.53 and I get 0 0.0632 okay all right let me go ahead and keep one more significant figure 6324 um, moles of the unknown per k 
kilogram of benzene. Okay. Now, um, this is where my 11.12 grams of benzene comes in. Because so I can use that to cancel here. That will, if I divide by 1,000 to get it into kilograms. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, so, 0 .111, 0 .0112 uh, kilograms of the benzene, and this will give me my uh, moles of the unknown. Okay, so what I have here is. 0.0007032 moles of the unknown. Okay, now those moles um, will be here, and then my molar mass I can get by taking that 0.255 grams divided by the um, moles of the unknown. Okay, so what I get here is um, 0.255 divided by that answer and we get 362.6 grams per mole. So this is the molecular weight of my unknown. Okay, so now what I need to do is to, um, I want to find the m uh, molecular formula, so I need to divide this uh, empirical formula into the molar mass that I just calculated, and what I'll have is um, 4.5 For my 10 carbons, I'll have 120.1, and my uh, 8 hydrogens, um, will be 8.064. Um, and then the iron, if uh, I have to look that one up, it's 55.845. Okay, and so if we add those together, plus, plus 55.845, and what I end up with is 184.009, and that's grams per mole. Okay, so my empirical formula is 184.009. I'm going to take that and divide it into here. I'll put 0.01. Alright, so 362.6 divided by that, and what we end up with is 1.97. Okay, so 1.97 times whole number we make that 2, okay? So the molecular formula is going to be C20H16Fe2, okay? 2 times um, 10, 8, and 1, okay?